This is Ray Main again. Let's continue on in chapter 7, starting with verse 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. This one verse right here is one of the verses that leads me to believe that everybody doesn't get a chance. Uh, God deals with whom he wants to deal with. This life is a straight way. What that means, it's a narrow way. Uh, there's uh, only going to be a few. Well, a few out of billions and billions of people. I mean, you know, I'm not going to try to put numbers on anything. That'd be ridiculous. But all these people that are going around and say there are many paths to God, uh, you can get there anyway. Hi. Uh -uh. In the book of Romans, we'll get to that later on. Uh, in the book of John, we'll get to that later on. It says there's only one door, only one door to heaven, and that's through Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, but that is the only way that you're going to make it. And unless you're willing to uh, go that way, you're not going to heaven. Okay? Fifteenth verse says, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. You shall know them by their fruits. The men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles. Even so, every good tree bring forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bring forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, and neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down, cast into the fire wherefore by their fruit you shall know them uh, be careful who you listen to there's a lot of false prophets out here there's a lot of false prophets out here and all they're wanting to do is just consume your goods uh, there's too many people uh, preaching that all you got to do is, is send me all your money and I'll pray over your bills and poof they'll magically disappear folks don't listen to those guys they will lead you down the wrong road and you stand in danger of losing your soul. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then I will profess unto them, I never knew ye. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Folks, this is talking about church people. It's talking about people that have made up their mind that they've got their own way of doing things. They're going to they're gonna stick with their traditions. They're going to stick with their uh, organizations. They're going to stick with their way of working. And irregardless of what God says, they're going to do it their own way. So, uh, you know, uh, it'd be terrible to live your life and down at the end of this thing, whenever God says that's enough, and you come before him and he said, depart from me, I never knew you because you wanted to do it your own way. Be careful who you listen to, okay? Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it is founded upon a rock. Everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. And it came to pass, when Jesus had ended these sayings, that people were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. The only foundation that we can build our house on, our spiritual house, is Jesus Christ. Don't ever forget that. God bless and have a blessed day.